So you want to know how we've successfully helped thousands of dogs with their dry skin conditions over the years? You're definitely going to want to watch the rest of this video. I'm Joe Scott, owner of Alpha Dog Nutrition, and over the years we've helped thousands of dogs alleviate their skin conditions and maintain a healthy skin and coat with this one simple treatment. Hey, before I go any further, I just want to say if you're new to the health corner, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell button so that you get notified for any new videos we come out with. All right, so let's get into it. First, in order to understand how to treat your dog's dry skin conditions, uh, we really need to understand what the symptoms are so that you know what to look for and make sure that what you're seeing in your dog is actually dry skin. So a few symptoms include uh, if your dog is itching a lot, if they're experiencing dandruff or flaking of their skin, uh, if they're experiencing significant hair loss, that can be also be another sign of dry skin in your dog, as well as, believe it or not, if your dog's skin is really oily, that can also be a symptom of dry skin. All right, so now that we understand the symptoms, let's talk about uh, what's actually causing your dog's dry skin. So there's really kind of three things that um, can be major culprits for your dog's dry skin. Uh, the first is allergies. So that's a really, really big one. Uh, it can be from the environment around them. It can be from their diet. Um, really anything that, if you think of things that you or people you know get allergic to, uh, that just cause you to generally feel uh, not that great. Same thing happens for dogs. Another one that we probably think of um, more commonly, but it's far less prevalent, is parasites in your, in your dog. So we're talking about like fleas, anything like demodex mites, things like that, um, where if you're watching this video, you've probably already done an investigation into that, and it's more of an allergy type uh, problem for your dog. So parasites probably aren't going to come into play for many people watching this video, but it's definitely something to keep in mind and have your dog checked out by a veterinarian. And another thing that falls kind of into that category is different infections of the skin. So um, things like ringworm and stuff like that. I mean, a lot, there's a lot of infections that can cause problems where dry skin is just an additional symptom of the infection. Again, it's probably something where if your dog's actually having these problems uh, and if it was something that serious, you probably would have gotten it checked out by a veterinarian by now. But it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we will mostly be talking about allergies since obviously we're not there uh, to actually have a look at your dog. So before I go any further, I just want to make sure that this is making sense. So if you could go ahead and comment alpha uh, in the comment section below just to let us know that we're on the right track and we're actually talking about what what you're wanting to know. All right, so now let's talk about what you're more than likely here for and that is how do you actually treat dry skin in your dog? There's three things that we can talk about here. Uh, the first is just to make sure that your dog is well groomed. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen uh, that can cause problems if your dog's not well groomed. Uh, for example, their, their skin may not be able to breathe as well as it should be able to. Uh, so definitely make sure that you're grooming your dog regularly. Um, even if that doesn't necessarily mean taking them into the groomer, just make sure you're using like a de-shedding brush, like a, like a Furminator or something like that to help remove uh, all that um, excess hair and things like that. And another thing that's a lot more in, invasive for your dog uh, that could be an option if they're experiencing really bad allergies uh, is to actually take them in for allergy shots. Um, it's not necessarily the first step I would take. I would definitely try uh, what we're going to talk about uh, here in a second first, but that is definitely an option for you and your dog so that you can um, give them the help that they need if it comes to that level. And the thing that we really recommend the most here at Alpha Dog Nutrition is just uh, a more holistic approach. So 
that's just a really healthy, balanced diet. Uh, a lot of allergies aren't actually uh, all that concerning and they're easily avoided. So knowing your dog and understanding your dog uh, and kind of the diets that they react well to, that's really, really important. So for example, uh, my dog, we have an eight-year-old English setter. Uh, he reacts very poorly to anything, any sort of food with uh, chicken in it or any kind of poultry uh, and a lot of that is actually because when they make dog food uh, anything with poultry or chicken ingredient um, for most brands of dog food they're actually just throwing the whole chicken in there and grinding it up and a lot of dogs react poorly to uh, the feathers and things like that that just get ground up and put in with the food. So that's an example of just knowing your dog, knowing what they react well to. We know that we shouldn't give our dog anything with like chicken in it or anything like that. Um, he's on a lamb-based uh, protein diet. So that's just what I do for my dog, just knowing him and how he, he, he reacts to food. So really the thing that we recommend the most here at Alpha Dog Nutrition is to make sure that your dog is on a diet that's high in omega-3 fatty acids. And the reason for that is uh, omega-3 fatty acids really help, help promote a healthy skin and coat. They've also been proven to improve your dog's resistance to allergies. So going back to the allergies uh, cause, if you will, um, omega-3s are really, really good at improving resistance to allergies in your dog. So another thing that we always recommend is to avoid any sort of supplement that is going to include any excessive additives or fillers. And the reason for that is with additives and fillers, you're just introducing another thing into your dog's system that can cause issues with allergies. Um, a lot of times the additives and fillers are actually pretty bad for your dog. Uh, they can be really harmful. And for the most part, they're really just doing it. Brands are really just putting those in there for you as the person buying the product to help make you feel like you're getting more for your money. When in reality, your dog's not getting any additional um, nutritional benefits. And it's just making you feel better because you're getting a bigger bag, bottle, or box. Another thing to really look for in your omega-3 is if you can, try to make sure that it's a krill-based omega-3. Um, there's a lot of like fish oils and salmon oils out there. Those have actually been proven to be harder to, to digest for your dog, uh, where they're likely not getting the entire benefit of the supplement. Krill oil has been proven to be uh, significantly more easily digestible for your dog. So you're just making sure that everything you're giving them is getting absorbed into their system and not just being passed through their body. And the last thing, and this really should go without saying, but I wanna make sure I point it out, is make sure the supplements, the omega-3 supplements that you're giving your dog are manufactured here in the USA. A lot of times they won't be able to say made in the USA because the, the, the products, so for example, krill is like a shrimp, um, you can't actually source it from here in the USA unless it's farmed and then that's a whole nother can of worms. Um, it actually has to be brought in from obviously the ocean, which is obviously not the USA. So that's why it has to be a manufactured in the USA designation and not made in the USA designation. Manufactured means they're bringing in components from outside the US and it's actually being processed at a facility in the US. So with Alpha Dog Nutrition products, our Vitality Omega-3 is processed with, uh, in a facility here in the US, it's tested here in the US, They make sure the quality controls are all there, but they're using krill that's coming from the ocean, which obviously <laughs> the United States does not own an ocean. So that's why we have a manufactured in the USA designation not made in the USA designation because we're making sure that we're not using sources that are uh, farm raised, if you will. So that's really it. Our recommendation really is to go ahead and put your dog on an omega-3 to help with their uh, dry, itchy skin uh, issues. And if you like this video, please go ahead 
and give us a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can stay in the loop on all the new health tips that we have for you and your dog. And if you're looking to help your dog with their dry, itchy skin, we've had a lot of success and helped thousands of dogs uh, really alleviate those dry skin issues and help maintain a healthy skin and coat with our Vitality product. It's a krill-based omega-3 that comes in capsule form without any uh, extra additives and fillers uh, for your dog. Vitality checks all the boxes here in this video and if you go through uh, all our reviews on our product page which I'll link to in the description below you'll see that uh, we've had thousands of people have success with Vitality to help improve their dog's skin and coat. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much, have a good one, and don't forget to go ahead and check out Vitality in the link below. Uh, shipping's always free and we offer a 60 day empty bottle guarantee. So we remove all the risk for you as a buyer. Uh, we just want to help your dog with their skin issues. Thanks and have a good one. Thank you.